Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing The Sims 4 and as you can see my Sims are already quarantined. That was a complete coincidence by the way. Jim Pickens quarantined his whole prisoner family kind of thing way before this whole thing started. He's always one step ahead of the game and me since I had no you know inclination it was going to go this way. Also I've been meaning to mention the Jim Pickens plushie that went on sale a while back and um, he sold out in two hours so we uh, got another batch. There is a limited amount but if you want any there's a link in the description to my merch store and you can take a look there. We've got a little bit more I, I think we had 250 the last time. Now we have I think like 400 left off the top of my head so that's how much we're dealing with and then I think it'll be gone for good after that. So if you want one, check it out. Uh, I apologize as well. I am a bit sick myself. Uh, I hope it's just a cold. Anyway, let's keep going. Today, we're going to venture out of the vault. Where Where is Jim? He's just crying in bed in his furry costume. You know, we've all been there. Just me. Uh, it, uh, let's keep going. So it's quite apparent that some people just aren't taking this seriously. I have to take extreme measures to protect this community. All right, we're here to solve this problem. Look at them. They're outside and everything. They're being fools right now. Chase them. Jim, chase them. Wait, I can lock door? Oh no, just for my club. I can't allow my club in their house. I was just gonna lock it and leave. Job done. <laughs> beautiful house. Absolutely beautiful. Let me join your household. <sighs> Wait, are you reacting to me or the TV? It can't be the rich dude on the TV. It must be me <laughs> in my hazmat suit inside your house. Wait, why do I have this, like, dog poop? Yeah, just throw it away. <laughs> I just had that in my inventory for some reason inside my hazmat suit. Ah, but... Tessa. Okay, that's a bit of an evil laugh. Maybe stop doing that. <laughs> Tell story to self. No, don't do that. Uh, hold on. Interact with them. Where are you going? Ask to join household. Yes! <laughs> she said yes. Perfect. All right, the rest of you just stay down in the vault. You're going to be fine. And uh, what's your name again? George Cahill. I expect you to be the man of the house while I'm gone. <laughs> okay, first things first. The doors get locked. No one is going in or out. Wait, why can I not lock this? All right, fine. You're losing your doors then. Goodbye. If I can't trust you to stay inside, I'm not giving you the choice. All right, now try for a baby. And yes, the hazmat suit stays on during sex. And the only reason they're doing this in the first place is potentially if the world needs to be repopulated, we're one step ahead. All right, it's important that we increase the odds here. So I think we should uh, try for baby with everyone. Oh no, bad timing. D leave. D go away. Really? Now is the time for a motivational speech to yourself? Are you just gonna stand there? Can you leave? <laughs> what? Uh, go away from me. <laughs> you were next. <laughs> There's a queue system. You got your number. <laughs> All right, you know what? You're going mad. You must need extreme quarantine or something. Go in here. Stop hitting me. Jesus. There you go. Now you're quarantined. You happy? It's for your own good. Well, the quarantine is the locking you in that small room and deleting all the objects. That was more for hitting me. And in fact, you don't really need light either. Okay, very bad timing to come through. It, it may be on me at this point. Maybe I should lock my door. Oh my god, this looks depressing. <laughs> just the way the light comes in just from the hall. That's so sad. But it's for your own good. Okay, I think my work here is done. I've done a good thing for humanity. Let me install a door so I can leave and then get rid of it again. All right, it's been real, folks. You are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and one final spell before I go to make sure you're well protected. <laughs> yeah, he knows he's done well. That was a protection spell that he put over the entire house like they did for Harry Potter. Or wait, no, I just set her on fire. My bad. I always get those two confused. Anyway, I better go. He's just laughing on the lawn. What the hell are you doing outside? You're supposed to be distancing yourself. And he calls himself a scientist. Oh, well, she died. Unfortunately, no one could get to her for some reason. Even Grimm is like, hmm. <laughs> this fire is um, burning out into the hall. You should probably leave. Oh, wait. Yeah, I got rid of all your doors. Uh oh, I just gotta wait for it to burn out. I can't even get back in there to help. Not that I would anyway. Oh god, this is spreading like fast. <laughs> this isn't really a good environment to raise four babies. I'm just waiting here to leave. I can't leave when there's a fire on the line. <laughs> oh god, now the outside of the house is on fire. <laughs> Scared by possessed child? What? Where is he? If he's here, we should leave like fast. Yeah, I don't know where they're seeing him, but he's here somewhere. Let's leave, let's leave. First name is back for revenge. Oh great, he's here. Feck off. We got more important things to worry about. Oh my Oh my god, it's killing people. It's killing people. Okay, that is disrespectful. Why are you riding over him on your bike? You're the real monster here. How did my son turn out so bad? Where did I go wrong? Snort more average coke. What? Why is that over by the sink? 
Amen. Can this fire please extinguish? I'm just trying to leave. Can you extinguish it? Come on, just because you're pregnant doesn't mean you're useless. Get stuck in there. She fell asleep while extinguishing the fire. Well, I hope it doesn't spread. Come on, stop peeing. At least pee on the fire if you're gonna pee. Are we almost done? I can't get to the bit outside. Could you just burn out, please? Thank God. Okay, you got your insurance payment. I'm going across the street to quarantine more people. Hello, I see you in there. You're not wearing protection. I'm coming in. <laughs> this whole place is a germ fest. We need to lock it down. Oh, wait, first I need to move in. Um, nice to meet you. <laughs> I literally have never met this dude. I've not even greeted him. All right, now that we're best of friends, I'm going to move in with you. <laughs> right, I'm going to take money. I take a fee each time I do this. It was 50 grand for the last family. So I'm going to take it into this family and then I'll take another fee when I come across into another family. Uh, she looks ill for some reason. <laughs> I don't think my quarantine worked. Ah, well, not my problem. My service is over now. See, all this furniture is just gonna gather germs. These rugs, these couches. Stand in the bathroom while I take care of this mess. It'll be like a home makeover. You'll come out and you'll be pleasantly surprised. Oops, that is not the surprise. <laughs> all right, you can come out now. It's done. <laughs> I replaced everything in your house. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. I didn't replace anything. I just got rid of everything. Thing. Replaced it with this nice sterile yellow throughout the house. Easy to clean, I assume. I don't think it's carpet. It might be. Doesn't look like it. Can we mop that up? Okay, good. It's not carpet. Okay, I did a good job. I also installed these handy dandy showers everywhere and I got rid of uh, nearly all your kitchen things. And you got yourself a pool filled with chlorine. Far too much, so don't open your eyes. See, you can get nice and clean now with your chlorine pit. Just two grown men locked in a house swimming naked together. Let's flatten that curve together. Wait, what's he running from? He just came out of the bathroom screaming. Also, I got rid of your stairs so you can no longer access the upstairs, you know, where all your beds are and stuff. The whole thing seemed weird, having like that germ factory up there. Anyway, I'll be on my way. I'll see you later. <laughs> so much for the hazmat suit, but at least I got my umbrella. We got one more house in the neighborhood, I think. That one's just a dog <laughs> that lives there. There's no Sims there. I don't know how that happened. Oh, the poor dog. <laughs> His owner probably got murdered and he's just waiting for them to come home. And then there's me. I got my vault. We're in lockdown already. God, they have a lovely house. And they even have like a little area you could set up a little farm there. They have the perfect quarantine home. Elaine is very hungry. Without a feeding soon, this baby will be taken away. I don't even know who Elaine is. Take her away. <laughs> okay, don't laugh evilly until you're at least part of the family first. Yes, okay, I'm in. <laughs> now I'll take my fee. That's... An extra 20,000? Like, yeah, that's good value. The others paid 50, and I took from them. This guy gained. He gained, He got an indoor pool from me. Wait, who's this baby? Oh, that's Elaine. Why aren't you taking care of her? Why is it alerting me? I don't care about Elaine. You know what? In fact, this guy's taking Elaine. Have fun with Elaine. God, that house is not baby-proofed. <laughs> it's like the worst place for a baby to grow up. At least there's no stairs. That's that hazard gone. You just gotta avoid the open pool in the living room. <laughs> They're just laughing like, <laughs> I'm so glad Elaine is gone. Honestly, babies are full of germs. It's best that they're gone. Only one door in and out. That makes it very easy for me. Oh, wait, no, there's a back door. Oh, no, that only goes to our little farm out there. That's good, actually. Let's set them up with a little farm. Okay, there we go. I set them up with a cow plant. <laughs> it's not gonna uh, really feed them. I mean, if anything, it's gonna eat them. But I think it's good to have something to focus on during these times. This place is a mess. Look at all these clothes around. Okay, we're gonna have to do something about this. You guys clearly can't take care of yourselves. Okay, we're gonna change your personality completely so you'll be neat and you can clean up for everyone. Neat? paranoid <laughs> and the loner that should do it for this current situation and we're going to turn her into a vampire so she doesn't really need any um oh my god what was that change but now she doesn't need any sleep so she can just clean all the time although i think it's good if she has some time alone on the balcony first we don't want her messing with everyone's stuff before she goes into a bit of self-isolation these people have a good like this little outdoor area is perfect the only thing wrong is there's a weird sizzling sound Me, Bob. I don't know why Jim is screaming at her either. Yeah. Can you die in peace, please, if you have to die? I'm trying to make this household a safe place and you're not making it easy on me. All right, she's dead. I'm willing to take partial responsibility for that. This is all trial and error, this whole thing. Meanwhile, he's just watching the comedy channel downstairs. What is with the army of cats outside? They can smell the body. All right, I think they have to make a choice. They either eat the cats or let the cats eat them because they are gathering and the, their numbers are increasing. All I know is I'm, it's freaking me out and I'm leaving. I'm going back home. <laughs> I think you might need an updated map. 
cat for cats rather than dogs. I don't see any dogs around here. Bridge! Now he's screaming at a cat. <laughs> oh good, my dad is out of the vault. Someone to let me in. <laughs> Forgot he was a ghost and he can get out of here. Okay, and I'll take my fee if you don't mind. I know it doesn't leave you with much, but I did do a lot of work there, to be fair. Do you know how expensive it would have been to get a hitman to kill off your mom? A lot. Oh wait, you wanted me to quarantine? Oh, oh my bad. <laughs> I'll just get those too confused. I mean, it's kind of nice in a way because one family, I mean, they lost life, but then they gave life to another family. That guy who lives alone now is a baby to care for which is just so cute. Oh, that got everyone out of the vault, though. Now I gotta put them all back. I mean, this was the whole point of the episode, to tell you guys to go into quarantine and stay the feck home, but now look at us. Okay, I think we're gonna leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I don't mean to be, like, poking fun the situation. The situation is quite serious that we find ourselves in. It's unprecedented. It's very, very weird. I'm already going a bit stir-crazy, even though I'm very fortunate. I get to work from home, and that side of my life has been largely unaffected, but I think the social side of it is already getting to me, and it's been just over a week now. I don't want to go into it too much. I know you've heard too much of it already and I, I'm here to just distract you a little and so that you can have a bit of fun. So um, I just hope you're all staying safe and staying isolated where uh, where you're able to. Uh, I know some people have to still go to work and uh, I hope you guys are doing alright. But yeah, other than that, I guess I'll just say uh, stay safe. I hope you enjoyed. I appreciate you watching as always and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.